every year millions of people borrow tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars to get degrees from colleges. When policymakers talk about how to improve the economic well-being of Americans, their ideas almost always include providing more education and upping graduation rates, whatever the cost. Brian Kaplan thinks this could all be a massive waste. He's got a PhD in economics. He's a professor at George Mason University. But despite all that, he's not entirely sold on the value of sending everyone to college. He just published a book called The Case Against Education. Professor Brian Kaplan joins us tonight. Professor, thanks for coming on. Thanks so much for having me. What's so striking is not just your views, which I share, but the fact that as a college professor, you're making this case. I mean, if, I, if I'm an AC repairman and I argue against air conditioning, I mean, I'm arguing against my own interest. Why are you arguing that college is not for everyone? Well, I think of myself as a whistleblower. I mean, if I were just some guy writing in a basement, who would take it seriously? True. I mean, you really have to be a professor. You have to be someone who's done a lot of research to say this with any credibility, and that's really what i But I've we done. know that people who go to college have bachelor's degrees make more than those who don't. Isn't that kind of the end of the argument? Uh, not at all. So, I mean, there's so, there actually, there's years you could talk about it, but the main thing that I push is realizing that just because an individual is making more money does not mean that it's a good investment for society. Um, you know, the, the heart of my story is something called the signaling model of education, but in common sense terms it just says a lot of the reason why education pays isn't that you're learning useful job skills. You're showing off, you're jumping through hoops, you're impressing employers, but of course if everybody jumps through the hoops that can't impress employers, you've got to jump through more hoops than everybody else or else the whole process is a waste exactly. of time. Exactly. The costs are really high. I mean, the cost not just to the individual, but to society now to a whole generation of young people. How do those match up against the benefits? Yeah, well, so again, you know, for the individual, what I, what I say is that if you are a strong student, then college is a good deal for you, especially if you do one of the high earning majors. On the other hand, if you are a weaker student, someone who struggles to get through high school, then college is probably just going to be a waste of money, even for you personally. But again, I always try to turn it around to not just thinking about what's good for the individual, but thinking about it from the point of view of society. Should we really be encouraging more people to go? If people are actually acquiring a lot of useful skills in school, well, then you know, it is an investment in our human capital. On the other hand, if the main thing you're doing is jumping through hoops and showing off, it's really a socially wasteful process to a large degree. And uh, that's really what I say is it is extremely wasteful for society. But a lot of people are picking up addictions and mental illness in college. <laughs> uh, sure. Of course, you can do that other places. But yeah, I mean, in a way, you might say there's the addiction to getting more education, which uh, you know is, is fairly rampant. So um, what percentage would you, and this is speculative, but of any society or ours specifically ought to be going to college? I'd say about 5%. 5%. So that would make you an elitist and a bad person because you're writing off the other 95%, correct? Uh, well, you, you might say that it's elitist to think that only a good person would, you have to be a good person, or uh, you, you, might, you might think that you'd have to be an elitist to, to think that you aren't a good person if you don't go to college. Good point. Yeah, so, you know, like, like, you know, college is the kind of thing a lot of people just go through and punch the clock and sit through classes and get a degree in something or other. I don't see that it really improves them as a, as a human being. Uh, it's a big burden on society, and also it's just a, a burden on the individual to feel like if I don't accomplish this, then my whole life is a waste of time. But then I say, you know, there's many different paths to success. I'm a big fan of vocational education, the kind that you see in countries like Germany and Switzerland. And again, you know, just very, you know, very notable how little of an, under, under, of an underclass that have there. You know, the kind of person who in the U.S. would say, I hate school, I'm sick of being here, maybe I'll go and drop out and be a criminal. In Switzerland or Germany, you're getting trained to be an auto mechanic or to be a plumber. I mean, so that you, you learn independence, learn skills, you get a, a peer group of skilled craftsmen instead of a peer group of criminals and dropouts. It seems like So that seems like an obvious point. We have models in other countries where yeah, this sure. works quite well. Do you think the effect of tens maybe hundreds of millions of dollars in lobbying by higher education lobbies has obscured that truth. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I think ultimately the problem is the American people. Uh, people, do, you know, as you said, people love the idea of education. If you go and just look, look at survey evidence, the share of Americans who favor cutting education is just almost minuscule, and that's really the main thing that I'm pushing, is spending less on education, saving, you know, saving money on something that really doesn't deliver the goods, especially from a social point of view, and you know, thinking about better ways of spending it. Do you have tenure? Oh, yes. Yeah, that's why you got. I bet your bosses aren't <laughs> impressed by this argument. Professor Kaplan, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. It's been great.